um, it's definitely two weeks. So it's it's the weekend, the twenty first. Is it the twenty first? Twenty twenty first. Yeah, or the twenty seven, twenty eight. Twenty eight. I would think it's people depending. Like I mm. said, you excited? Man, I'm a bit worried if I'm honest. Seriously, because well, you know I'm not really a big fan of Lamborghini. No, I know. Like, I just bought a quarter of a million pound Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> but what if I don't like it? You will. <laughs> You do you will. think? You do will. you think I will? It's 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 the the finest balance of Lamborghini rawness, but Ferrari precision. Like I I think you love the four eight, you love the GT three. It's them two combined. You say? It's, yeah, it's a it's a bit of those combined. Like because it's just got that crazy, that like, Corsa mode. But the steering's bang on. It's light. Turning's amazing. No understeer. But then you got like that crazy Lambo sound. But I've never, I've never had a Lambo, so I have no. got to tick the box. And like everyone I speak it's to, the one to mega. Get. Yeah, it's, it's like, the one to get. Pretty punchy though, for you to. Be. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> You've not, not driven one, have you? Not even driven one. Are you driven... Not, you're not going to drive one until you pick yours no. up, and then I'm going to film it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the car has been refueled. And so have I. Now, hopefully, with a bit more energy than I had from the video this morning, collecting this beast, which I'm very soon about to take home. But first, I need to take it to Dub Customs to talk to him about some of the things that I'm going to be doing. We are now going to jump in the Performante. Tony is currently doing a deal over there on the phone, but seeing as this is his first ever Lamborghini, Tony is very outspoken about the Lamborghini brand and has been online for about 18 months or so, and he has not been the biggest fan of Lamborghinis. That is correct, right, Tony? Correct. Um, however, when the opportunity arose for you to... Opportunity, mate. Opportunity. What did opportunity. I say? <laughs> yeah, I was just going to carry on with the flow and hope that hopefully, like... No one spotted. Nah. You have now driven it for how many miles? 200. 200 miles since... Friday. Tail end of last week. Yeah. So, this is my first experience of being a passenger in a Performante. Yeah, because you've driven one, right? I've driven one, and it is a car that has been so well received so many journalists have been like, this is the surprise of the year of 2017. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you having owned GT3s, all sorts of Porsches, all sorts of Ferraris, and have the opportunity of driving. Whatever I have in stock. Yeah, 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 whatever you have in stock. This car was one that you were a little bit nervous about. I was very nervous. Because <laughs> it's an expensive car. Um, one. It's a Lamborghini that you don't. Not massive fan yeah. in general. But you thought that you'd give it a punt. I thought I'd give it a pun yeah. because of the reviews, they were good. Yeah. Uh, the opportunity come up, I thought I'd tick the box because one day, why not own a Lamborghini, give them a chance. Good one to own. Apparently, I have picked the best, best one. Yeah. So It is the nicest looking Performante that I've ever seen. Yeah, it's so good. Dark green is insane with the gold wheels. TG's done a good job done of a good job. it. I did help him a bit though, to yeah. be fair. Yeah. I did help him with the spec, but he smashed it. Yeah. Gloss forged carbon, active aero all around. Those wheels just are incredible. And I believe the stitching inside has matched. It has, we'll have a closer look. But the wheels match the engine bay. Oh my God, I love this car. It's got the looks, it's got the sound, and now Lamborghini have built a car that seriously rivals the likes of the Porsche GT cars, the Ferraris, and the McLarens. Go on, go on, in you go. No, you go. We're getting in. Go on, you go. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna film the starter. You're gonna film the starter? Yeah. Ready? Yes, there's the gold stitching. <sighs> Sports. They're not the comfort seats, these are the sports seats. Ah. 
But they're not the race seats. They're not the race seats. We're going to Europe. It feels good to be back in a hurricane. In a Lambo. In a Lambo. Okay, here we go. Tony is driving a Lamborghini. I never thought I would see the day because how many conversations have we had? Everyone knows I'm a massive Lambo fan. Yeah. I am so craving a V12 Murcielago. And you just slag me off, to yeah. be honest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I do. Like, but in general, normally, you're a Lambo fan or Ferrari fan. Yeah. And you're a big Lambo fan and I'm a massive Ferrari fan. Massive huge Ferrari fan. So what we're gonna say in this video, you may think will contradict. A what a Ferrari fan would say. Yeah. But this is nothing but the truth. This is nothing but the truth. I am going to start this video by asking you Bearing in mind the Ferrari 458 Speciale is your favourite car, it is also Alex Calm's favourite car, it is also Danny's favourite car who has featured a numerous amount of times on my channel, would you sell this car to buy a 458 Speciale? No. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. And that's down to just one weekend with this car, right? Yeah. And, oh here we go. That's mad. That's high praise, man. And it's as good as a speciality. There are moments in my YouTube in career or my YouTube channel where I say things or my mind gets swayed to things I never thought that I would say. For example, jumping in like a Porsche GT3, I was never a Porsche fan. My first video where I ever put my face on the camera, I slagged Porsches off. And I now love the Porsche GT3s, the GT3s RS. And for you to say that about a Lamborghini is pretty crazy. Let's just get let's just get this right. I I do not like I still do not like any other Lamborghini. Yeah. I don't like the Aventadores. I don't like the standard Hurricane. Yeah. But this is such a step up from them cars. This this is Ferrari package in a Lamborghini skirt with the noise. Yeah. That's how you'd summarise this car. Right? That's a great summary because it is exactly that. Lamborghinis have been known in the past for sounding incredible, looking amazing, providing the drama in the drive, but not necessarily a precise drive or an enjoyable drive for people that like the precision, people that buy McLarens, that buy Ferraris. They love the smoothness of the car. They love the precision of the steering rack and they love how that car performs on the track. That's why you've got the GT3. That's why you've got the 488. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so glad that I've got it. Yeah. Like, I'm like... So, Brings a smile to my face. Yeah, like, I can't <laughs> believe I'm still astonished to how good it is. Okay, so tell me, I've driven this car, but to anyone that hasn't seen a Performante video or this is the most real review that you're going to get from someone that doesn't necessarily like Lamborghini, this is going to be fairly unbiased. Whenever I jump in a Lamborghini, I'm going to love it regardless of how it drives, whether it's got a shoddy gearbox, whether it's got a problem with the brakes, whatever it is, I'm always going to be, I'm a massive fanboy, but for Same you, Ferrari for me. exactly, yeah, yeah. if you jump in a Ferrari, you're going to love it no matter what, but yeah. coming from a Ferrari brain and a Ferrari heart, can you try and capture in words what this car, how this car makes you feel, what is it so special about the way that it drives? So, so... This, this reminds me of a Ferrari. This is like driving a Ferrari. With a Lambo badge. Yeah. 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 But the, the, and, I, and for me personally, I, I think that Ferrari is the pinnacle of driving. Yeah. As, a, as an actual driver's car. Yeah. I, I don't think it gets any better. Yeah. This competes with that now. This is, this is above that level. Yeah. So that's a huge, that's a big statement. I think so. Yeah. If, if, you, if you talk in car terms, uh, comparing as a journalist, I'm not a journalist, I'm a motor dealer. Yeah. But from what I know, this is as big a step from the standard Hurricane than it was to the old 430s Ferrari to the 458. 
Wow. Yeah, yeah that's huge. But do you not agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah I do. I've been, I've been in 430s. Oh, 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 oh. And I've been in 458s. And it was such a, like a sort of pivoting moment for Ferrari. But when the 458 came out with that dual clutch gearbox and the steering rack, everyone that I spoke to when that car came out, it was, oh my God, the steering is incredible. The sound, the looks, it was such a huge improvement and a step forward, like you say. And I, I agree in terms of how the Hurricane from 2014, now in 2017, and we're driving around in this car. If you feel how you feel right now about this car, just, I'm so excited for your journey into the Lamborghini ownership world. Yeah, yeah. Because the Ferrari provides you with an element of, yes, it, is, it might kill me, which I love in a car. And it's something that I'm learning that I want in a car now. Well, I bought the C63. <laughs> <laughs> but then you've also got the Porsche because it's like just that precise screaming, probably one of the most perfectly balanced cars you can buy, right? So this is a mid-engine faster version of that? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going to be following closely your ownership and I want to do more and more videos. I think we're going to do a bit of a road trip in this, aren't we? Yeah, 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 for sure. So I'm so looking forward to that. Obviously, you need to get PPF first which we're going to do today. Dub Customs. We're heading to Dub Customs. Yeah. So, I mean, as a first look, as a first impressions, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. That is a Ferrari man converted into a Lamborghini Huracan Performante fan. I wouldn't say a Lamborghini fan because you hate everything else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's... Baby steps. It's baby. We're taking baby <laughs> steps. <laughs> trying to confirm me. <laughs> right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. We're about to hit the motorway, so we're going to probably go back to Strada and Auto. Yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, don't go just yet, because we got to go through the Dartford Crossing under the tunnel. Stay tuned. Cảm ơn các bạn đã theo dõi. Các bạn hãy bấm like, comment và hãy bấm đăng ký để ủng hộ cho kênh mình nha.